Y'all love the Mexican market for 24 hours, so now we're stepping things up with an Indian market for 24 hours. Let's get on in there and let's get some breakfast. Come on. I'm just a little nervous, you guys, because I don't know any kind of Indian foods besides naan. I think we need to get like advice because I'm looking at this menu right here. I don't know what any of it is. Okay. What's the best? But what's the best thing? Like, what should I order? Like, I kind of want like a breakfast type food. The lunch plate number one, the all of this sides, okay? Okay. And one rice, one chapati, one two veggie, and a pickled salad. Okay. And is it all vegetarian food or is there yeah, meat? All vegetarian. It's all vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you say lunch special number one is good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So this place turns out it's all vegetarian food. So we're starting with breakfast with vegetarian? Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks right. good. It looks pretty good, all right, let's do it. We've never tried before, but we want to. Yeah, we're gonna try one. We're gonna do the, um, we'll do the lunch special number one. No, number two comes with a samosa, do you not listen? Yeah, but he said try the first one and then the second one. Should we so get, get both? one of each, yeah. Okay, let's get one of the first number one and number two. Okay. One of each. Here? For here, yes. Do you like yogurt, onion, pickle? Yes, I like it all. Okay. All right, I have no idea what's going on. This is my first time here. It's just my first day. Oh, wow. Okay, that's plate number one and then plate number two. It's very good? Yeah. Wow. This looks good. It looks. <laughs> and then we, we need samosa, my friend. I need some more samosas, you know what I mean? Hey, give me some more, give me some more. Thank you, my friend. Yes, yes, please, sauce it up for me. You're a saucy man, I can tell. Amazing. You have cold beer? Hey, beer? No beer, yeah, it's morning time. It's five o'clock somewhere, you know what they say. <laughs> okay, do I pay after? Okay, I'll pay after. Thank you, my friend. We'll be right back. Breakfast has been served. This is a big meal. This is a meal of a champion. So let's get on into it. The first thing I think we should try is this. I don't know what it's called, but it kind of reminded me of like a donut. Did you dip it? Yeah, that's why it gave us the sauce. So I don't know anything about anything we're about to eat. It seems like an oil-based sauce. Oh, Indian donut smacks. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, it has stuff inside. It's all the goodness of a donut, minus like the glazing the and the sugar. But it has something else inside of it. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a nut. Yeah. What? A nut. <laughs> Delicious. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure what's inside of it. It has like, it is a peanut. It has a peanut inside. Mm, little crunch. Little crunch with the bite. Not bad though. That's good. Moving on. Let's go into our little trays here. I will say the one thing I want to point out is it kind of gets served to you like almost like prison food in a way. Yeah. It's thrown into a tray. People come in here, they enjoy it, so we gotta enjoy it too. So first thing I'm gonna go for, the rice. That's a good flavor. That's one thing you can depend on when you're going to Indian spots, is seasoning. Good seasoning. I'm eating your bonds beans and they're amazing. I'm gonna go for the potatoes here. Mm. We're just punching through this. Mm. Wow, I love the deep rooted spices, but it's like a deep rooted one in the back of your throat. It just warms you up. It's not anything spicy to burn your mouth, it's just flavor enhancers. I will say Indian food isn't the most look appealing, but yeah. it tastes so good. Oh, oh yes, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. You're the this man. Is, this is... <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> thank I just you so woke much. up, my friend. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Singh. Sing? I'm Brennan. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. This is really good. Try this. This is the eggplant right here that mixed with. Mm, yep, that's the thing I'm gonna point out. Food may not look crazy good, and I'm sorry I prejudged. Keep in mind, this is all vegetarian. I'm hoping that we can hit some Indian food later that has meat in it. Mm. But maybe all Indian food is vegetarian. Now that I'm trying to think about it. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Mm. This is the lentil soup right here. Lentil's fire, bro. Oh, oh my god. I could live off of this place. I forgot. The thing about Indian culture is it's all about the bread and you use your like your hands. You just like you just get in there, scoop a little bit of everything. From the Indian videos that I watch, they just get a little. I, I want to show this. Oh. Grip it in your hand like that. You go at it like a little sandwich. That white stuff is weird. Oh man. What I can really admire about our videos mm. is it puts us out of our comfort zone. We would have never stepped into this market, but I'm glad we did so far. Fire food. I've seen this place my whole life and mm. I've never once walked into it. <laughs> I've never once even like walked past it thinking, I want to walk in there. 
No, but I would definitely do this again. I would too. Moving on. The next thing we have here, some noodles. The reason I got this is because everything looks so far-fetched from my normal food that I eat that I had to go with something that I kind of recognized. And here, this kind of reminded me of some spaghetti. All right, let's go. Noodles and pass. Mm, oh my god. Wow. That's a version of spaghetti that, I've never had. That's like an Indian take on spaghetti. The noodles are very oily, but like I said, there's this amazing spice wrapped mm. around it. That's incredible. And it's spice as in spice level Whoa. in heat and spice as in spices. Yeah, exactly. What I've noticed is when it's oil based, like spices like this right here on here, very delicious. When it's a very dry rubbed spice, it becomes almost like not even tasting good. This, on the other hand, something I can get behind. In college, when I went for a day, I learned about- <laughs> well, Only one day is Only one day. day. I learned that Mexican food and Indian food are so similar. Same things, you gotta think about it. Garbanzo beans, pinto beans. Pinto beans, rice. Naan. Naan, tortilla. tortillas. Wow. Rice has well, the same little like. There's, I think their culture is probably very close to each other. There's, or a, there's a lot of mix match when when early population was alive. <laughs> they all came and the Indians and the Mexicans. They were like, hey, we should. Let's get together. Yeah. What was this drink called again? A lassi. Oh, now we got our mango lassi. This is a staple when it comes to Indian food. It's like a yogurt, a mango type yogurt drink. And we're gonna try it right now. And we're gonna try it the only way us Taylor Bros know how. Two straws, one hole. Yeah. <laughs> No backwash into the mango lassie, my friend. I'm already stuffed. I'm, I'm pretty stuffed, but don't worry. We got lunch, we got dinner, and maybe a couple snacks in between. Man, you gotta just swallow at some point. Mm, wow. That's the best, Ooh. That's probably the best mango lassie I think I've ever had. It literally is like a, a gusher, the gusher. <laughs> yeah. Slurpable. Gogurt. 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 The Gogurt Slurpables, man. Same but, taste. but way tastier. It's like you're not getting artificial flavors here. You're getting like actual mango flavor. That is wow. really good. But we're not done yet, Jake, okay? I want some mo samosas. So that's what we're gonna try next. We got our samosas here. Not 100% sure what's inside of this samosa. Well, it's definitely not meat. But it's that's not meat. Sure. That's all I know. So let's take a bite. Okay, potatoes. Veggies, what I noticed, first bite, I was kind of like, hmm, it's all right. But as I chewed it and swallowed it, mm. I really started to enjoy the samosa. And all I could say is I could definitely go for Samo. Samosa. Wow, I'm actually impressed. That was good. Really good food. Anyways, we're gonna finish this up. Let's get it paid and see how much this is gonna cost us. And then we'll get on to lunch. Oh, I oh, love it's so the good, food, man. Seriously? Yeah, no, it's Serious. really good. Yeah. I said I'm coming back. Okay, coming back? Yeah. yeah. This is me right here. I give you full address for Oh, thank you so much. Of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love it. It's really good. Yeah. And this, yeah, this, so good. It's the best oh, one we've ever God. had. Best one I ever yeah. had. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my thank friend. Thank you. Another thing I want to point out before we jump out of here is the Indian culture, man. They're so nice. so nice, so sweet. So if you are in Canoga Park, come swing by India Sweet and Spices. This place is fire, especially if you're a vegetarian. This is where I would eat if I was a vegetarian because this is good vegetarian food. Oh, it's so good. I'm like full, but I'm still taking bites. Wow, breakfast was fire. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys right now. This place taught me to never judge a book by its cover. I'm excited to see what lunch has for us. Let's just hope. There's some chicken tikka masala. All right, you guys, it's lunchtime. We're at this grocery store. This time they have meat, so you already know I'm feeling a chicken tikka masala. Let's get in there. Kind of looks like a hospital. It does look interesting in here. Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm excited to eat. You got good food here? Yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited. So they got a loaded menu here, a little bit of everything. Wow, a lot of bit of everything. Check out this menu. Oh my God. So this is some vegetarian, vegan dishes. We got soups, you drinks. Where's the meat? I like meat. This is all meat. Okay, that's the side I like right there. Yeah. What do you <laughs> recommend? We have chicken, fish, yeah, chi lamb. Do you have chicken tikka masala? Yeah. I love this guy. All right, let me check it out for a second. All right, so as you can see, it's a big menu. We have tons of options here. So what do you say, Jake? We dive in and we get a couple things. Yo. What? They got burritos. How could they have burritos? I don't know, it says burrito. What the heck? Like, like I told you in breakfast, Mexicans, Indians, like the same people, man. Wow, man. Just one talks like hola and the other one says thank you. I don't know if that's appropriate, but we're gonna order regardless. A little bit of everything. All right, so I see some people, they just finished their meal. Jose, is that your name? Yeah. Can you come over here for a second? <laughs> I just want to ask you, my man, what did you think of this place? It's good, first time trying it. First time? Yeah. Would you come back? That's the question. Yeah, I would. You would, 100%. Yeah, would. Oh, okay. okay, my man. We're sold, we're, we're sold. sold. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> okay, look, if others are liking it, I know I'm gonna like it. Yo, 
look at these men. What's up? Listen, we're gonna be offering off dates. So if you wanna go on a date with one or two of us, it could be one of us or it could be both of us. She could we... be our little stuffing, our little Oreo stuffing. <laughs> okay, let's calm it down. Comma the number three down below, and that'll be a three-way. Threesome. <laughs> Or two, if you just want one or the other. But then <laughs> let, put a letter, like 2B or 2J. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if they want to just sit on the couch and watch us? Comment one. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna get a shrimp curry, then we're gonna get the chicken tikka masala, and then lastly, we wanna get the lamb burrito. And that's good for us. Appreciate you. Some people just like aren't as outgoing as we are, Jake. We have to just accept that. Flashback, like three minutes before this, the Indian culture is so nice. No lamb burrito, we won't be able to do Oh, you can't? Can you? Uh, can I see that menu? Lamb curry instead. I wanted a burrito, just to see. You don't have any burritos? No. Oh, uh, okay. And just those two. Then. That's fine. We'll just get those two: the shrimp curry and, and the, the one garlic naan. You want the long burrito? Yes, please. Is the garlic naan good here? Yeah, yeah. Do you eat it? Of course. How, how often do you and eat? the rice I'll give you a longer. Thank okay. you. How, how often do you eat the garlic naan? One, one, you know, every second day. Every second day? <laughs> All right, I like that. I like that. Alrighty. Tough crowd. <laughs> this makes me shit my pants. He definitely put eye drops in it. <laughs> He's like, those damn bloggers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so check this out. We got it here. I don't know which one's which yet. Okay, here's the shrimp curry right here. Check it out. They both literally look almost similar. Then we got, check this out. Look at this. Big, big old shrimp in there. Then we got our chicken tikka masala right here. Damn, oh, this place looks damn, good. Damn, look at those big pieces of chicken. And look at this naan. This naan is out of this world, man. Oh my god, look at that. Garlic. I will uh, say right off the bat, this garlic naan is gonna be fire. The garlic naan looks literally like pizza slices right here. I almost wanna put it all on there and eat it like a pizza. Oh, look at that. Chicken tikka style. All right, my man. Oh, you you really read my mind. The way you do things just turns me on. Sorry, that's not weird. You just take too long. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crazy. The chicken tikka masala, crazy. See how fat that chicken is. Oh, wow. Mm. That's a fat piece of chicken. And what I can admire is it all comes out ready to go. So if you can't finish it, you just throw a cap, box up your rice, Get the heck out. The spice level on this is really good. Really nice. Like that perfect. We would have said spicier. We would have been, I would have been complaining. Out. This is really nice. The, the bread is so thick. It's not like these like thin little pieces of, of naan that you get at some restaurants. This is quality naan. Mm. I wonder if they have one of those fire pits in the back where they're cooking the naan fresh because it tastes really fresh. Probably. Wow. And I told myself I wasn't gonna sit and eat a lot here for lunch. I think I'm mistaken. It's so creamy. It's so <laughs> creamy. I don't think I've ever had chicken tikka masala this creamy before. Like I would love to fill a bathtub and just lay in it. Mmm, wash my hair in this. I hope my new girl tastes like this. Dude, even on its own, just eating the rice, like skipping out on the naan if you wanted to cut a little bit of your carbs down, just eating the rice and the masala on its own without even any chicken, so mm. yum. Mmm, my god. Mmm, my lord. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna move on to the shrimp one now. I almost like want to try it on its own, but I want. I love this bread so much. I want to try the bread on its own. Oh, so doughy. We might need to order another round of the freaking bread, man. Mm. All right, here we go. Shrimp curry. Mmm, that's really good too. But something about that, ooh, the shrimp is really spicy. Curry is spicy. But something about that creaminess of the masala, that's the winner. That's the winner for me. Like, I almost want to pour out what I have here and just go back for a fresh masala non- Combo. I just put a bunch of the masala sauce on here. Combo? A little surf and turf. Surf. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'd be surfing and turfing from Bangladesh. <laughs> so what's the other one called? Mumbai. <laughs> Mumbai Mumbai to Mumbai to Bangladesh. You doing my chicken curry and my, my chicken tikka masala? My shrimp curry? This is extreme. It's fire. That was good, but I gotta control myself. I have no self-control. The winner, chicken tikka. 100%. I would 100% drive back out. We're in Thousand Oaks right now. I would drive this 30 minutes to get this chicken tikka masala. It was so good. So fire. Let's get this wrapped up. Get the heck out of oh. here. And see what's next for our day of eating Indian markets. Let's do it. Let's see what the damage is. That was so good. Oh, man. I'm gonna be back. What's your name again? Tage. What? Tage? Amazing, Tage. Good stuff. I really don't know how I'm gonna get anything else in this belly today. But when in doubt, shake it out. Sit it out and then go again. <laughs> 37, 31. 37? Alrighty. Alright, 37 bucks, but man, I'm stuffed. I got some to eat for later today if I get hungry again. I'm good. I'm set. 
Can you show me uh, Indian dance? Or you, how do you... you know nowadays, yeah, now it's all American. It's a transfusion of all the... How would you dance to this music right now? No, no, this is soft music. Yeah, so show, show me how you dance. Like this, this maybe? This is English music. Come on, dance with me. Hey, man. <laughs> you young guys, it's your time. This is my time. Yeah. All right, my buddy. Good Take to care. see you. Take care. <laughs> Well, it works with the Mexican market, it's not going to work here. <laughs> hey man, I try to bring back what works, it didn't work here. It didn't work. <laughs> Alright, so we're in that weird period in between lunch and dinner now. I'm still a little hungry. This place has Indian snacks. I think I can go for one or two. Come on. This is Raul. You're the owner, huh? I'm the owner. Hi. Nice, man. <laughs> so this is your shop. What's it like? You get a lot of customers in here? A lot of customers. We do vegan and vegetarian food. Oh, nice. Every day, fresh menu, all the burgers. Oh my, oh my goodness. They're also vegan in there. It's all vegetarian. Everything's, what is this? A little apple? Here. Apple. Oh my. Made from cashew. Really? Okay, uh, we might need to try some desserts. Sure. We have a dish called dosa. Oh. It's more like a long crepe. Oh, okay. Good for snacks. Yeah, let's do one of those too. Sure, one. Can even show you how to make it. Yes, that would be awesome. Now we're going to get a behind the scenes of making an Indian crepe. Let's go check this out. Hello. Oh, how are you, my friend? Good, how are you? <laughs> what made you want to make like a vegan, vegetarian type of style Indian food? Indian food is mostly vegetarian. Oh, it is? So, yeah, there are meats in there, but it's mostly vegetarian. Okay. It's more like an everyday thing. Right. right. So that's where we're targeting. And it's very healthy and a lot of vegan population out there now. You know? Yeah. Not too many options. Right, exactly. But do you ever miss the chicken tikka masala? No, man. You know, I'm vegetarian. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna make something for you that Body chop. Wow. When we're trying Indian food, we need to have some Indian soda or something to accompany. What do you got here? Kind of popular one. Oh. This is thumbs up, similar to Coke. And this is Limka, that's more like a lemon soda. Amazing. Check this out. Yeah. Thumbs wow. up and Limka. It's their addition of Coca Cola and some Sprite. Let's try it. This is going to be good. And we are out of the Indian beer. Uh, you got beer? Yeah. Oh, no. oh come you on. You drink too much. You drink it all. That's why. Yeah, I <laughs> why do you think I look so happy? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked you. <laughs> so before we jump into this crepe, I almost want to start with the sodas. But they, it, they made it hot. You're right. Like, you want to eat something cold? Go okay. for it. Okay. I mean, it's so hot. Like, when I was holding it. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> I mean, a, hot, it's a hot plate. You're it's a hot day. Cold food? Don't you want a cold drink? So let's start our meal with an Indian drink. Limka and some thumbs up. Ooh. See, Sprite is good, but this is just a little bit more crisp. Gets you like, ooh, you feel it go down your body. It's, mm. And it's ice cold too. Whatever they're putting in the refrigerators, That's just fire. All right, let's move on, okay? Now we have this crepe in front of us. This thing is a huge crepe. Literally so big, you guys saw them chop it into two. I told you, it's hot. Did you? Let's go back to. They made it hot. You're right. Like, you want to eat something cold? Go okay. for it. Do you want to eat it when it's hot? Right, I'm going to try it. You tell me, Vasson. Let's go for a dessert. Let's go for a nice dessert. Carrot, vegan. Or vegetarian. I'm gonna go for the spongy one that he said. So here we go. Oh, mm. wow. They're all very subtly sweet. Mm. Tasty, but doesn't feel like you have a sugar rush from it. It's got a nice spongy material inside with a nice like tortilla crepe out outer for this one. This one tastes like it has like coconut and carrot. It has a, like the mm. texture of coconut, like fresh coconut. Mm. But it tastes like a carrot cake, very thick. I believe you. You're not gonna try it? I mean, we got other ones. I don't know what this is. I forgot. You want your apple. I want to try this apple made out of cashews. Mm. Oh my god, there's a little crunch inside. Mm. Wow, this one you've got to try. Was yours worth it or should I go for the carrot? Go for the carrot. Do I got to pull a stem out of it? That's the real question. I don't know, but it's like, it's got this little like sugar crunches oh. in the middle. The stem's uh, food. Yeah, it's all edible. You can just throw that thing down. This is good. That one's good. I can throw down a couple of those. Oh my god. Mmm, this carrot, everything tastes so like healthy. healthy. Even though we're eating sugary sweets, they don't taste too sugary. Perfect mm. amount. That's good. Really good stuff. I don't know how to eat this. What's the soup we got? Lentil soup. I uh, try to eat your, your crepe. The crepe that you dropped in the sauce? It's hot. 
Oh my God. This literally tastes like chili beans, but it's all vegan. How could it taste like chili if it's a vegan meal? Let's find out. Be the judge. Oh, it smells like chili. <laughs> Wow. Lots of healthy alternatives. Does this have beans in it? No, it's lentils only. <laughs> I'm confused. Wow. That is really good. My mom has always tried to get me to eat lentil soup my whole life. I've always been against it. I don't know why. That's I good. I didn't know it tasted like that. If I knew, I'd be eating only a lentil soup diet for the next three years. So if we didn't explain it, when we went to the breakfast spot earlier, we got a hold of the owner of the place, which is Raul, the person that you met earlier. And he invited us over here to Thousand Oaks location just to try some snacks. And I will say this one's a lot bigger. It's a lot place. bigger, it's a lot nicer. It has tons of reviews. It's literally got like yeah. five star reviews. Really good spot. And this one you can tell is it's definitely way more modernized yeah. in, in the way they have it compared to the one that we went. We just stumbled into the one we went. Yeah, we we, didn't, found, that we found it and we said, let's go try this. This one is the one to come for the pictures, the beauty, and the real taste of vegetarian Indian food. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. But yeah, I don't know how we're gonna dig into this. It's so extremely hot, I can't even pick it up. I don't know, I'm just gonna kinda like pick a little piece off and go for it. Maybe that. Kind of reminds me of like a kind of Mexican meat. It's that salsa, our sauce that they have. It's really tasty because there's no meat in this, but all those veggies combined together almost trick you into thinking there's some kind of like substance in this when really it's just all veggies. Oh, that was just like sweeter. You get sliced green peppers in there. You get some onions, tomatoes, tomatoes coconut, basil, it looks like. Oh, not basil, cilantro. You got the coconut spread all on top of that. That's tasty. That's different. That's like something I've never had before. No, but now when we go to India that's and we see them cooking up, we know what it is. We know what it is. They got to have a, the only the only constructive criticism I would give is they got to have a new way of eating this. I think, they should, I think they should chop it in four. Small pieces and maybe like with a fork or something you can eat it. Yeah. Because when you rip it apart, it all falls apart, as you can see by the bite. We're also probably doing it wrong. Please tell us if we're doing this wrong. I'm just eating these desserts up over here. Yeah, 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 I do, I do like this. Wow. Take them away. Take this away. This is a good little snack. We gotta save our appetite because we still got oh. dinner coming up. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't either. I'm so stuffed on Indian food, guys. Oh my God. Look at this. It's puffed rice. What the heck is it puffed for? I don't know. Look at it, though. Damn, puffed rice hit hard. You know what this place reminds me of? What? The Indian version of Trader Joe's. Oh, it kind of does. Look, the freezer section, it's all hot and ready food, but all oh. like, it's like little ciders, but Indian. Wow, this could be another video coming up. Could I don't be. know, I don't know. Potential. Potential. Indian snack food for 24 hours? <laughs> Before we head out of this grocery store, do you see what's behind me? <gasps> Leg up. My time to shine. No sneak, no sneak. And this is Jake's Bathroom Review. Oh, in a market. It's nice. They got a fan screwed upside down to the roof. Interesting. Nice little bathroom right here. I do not know what through this door is, but I'm glad I can lock it. It's nice. There's nothing to complain about. I would definitely poop here if I had to. All right, let's get out of here. A few hours later. We've made it, you guys. We're at our last Indian market of the day. I'm literally gonna tell you guys I am all Indianed out, but we got one more to do, so let's get on in there. Come on. Spice plus. I like that. It's a little plus to your diet. <laughs> plus me. Oh, and me. Woo. Send money. Send me money. Oh, look, they got a little restaurant back here. Oh, wow. I like that they separate the market from the restaurant. Okay. Do they, are they open? Oh, yeah, they're open. Here's the food. This is what we're working with today, you guys. Looks like it's been sitting a while, but those kind of look like ribs or chicken lamb, maybe. I don't know. The whole menu, too. My man, how are you? Uh, yeah. How is the food? I need to know. Is it good? Yeah, sure. Is it really, though? Yeah, yeah. You said sure. I need to know, yes, definitely. Yes, yes. Here's <laughs> the chicken curry. Okay. Uh, we have the beef curry, Oof. the lentils, and the banana manchurian. Amazing. So, green banana mango. Okay. We have the beef kebab and the chicken tandoori. You want to eat it with rice? With rice, yes. See, I'm a man of understanding many accents. Most wouldn't understand what he's saying. I barely did, but we got it. With rice? With rice. Wait, is that a microwave? Yeah, he just microwaved that bitch. What's he microwaving? Your, your rice, because it was cold. All right, okay. we're having an open mind and an open heart. Do you eat here? Yeah. Oh, nice. I eat at like two, not now. Not now, it's a little yeah. late, huh? Yeah. I already had other Indian food earlier. Oh. I had Indian food for breakfast, lunch, and now dinner. Okay, I can't. Great. I can't get enough. I, I love it. I, I love got the it. farts. <laughs> yeah, my stomach is a little bubbly, but <laughs> does that happen to you too? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, uh, if you love this food, then you can eat, no problem. Yeah. 
I, I love it, but you know, and it's I'm just starting. I'm new. I'm so full from the day. But I, I'm pretty full from the day, but I am still ready to grub a little more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of this chicken curry on one side, but then I'm also gonna put the beef on the other side. I do notice that the chicken does have bones in it, so you gotta be a little careful of that. All right, let's go for it, my man. I'm, I'm gonna start with the beef side. <laughs> so am I. It looks like hamburger helper. Spicy. It is a little spicy. Not bad. It's very tender meat. I was thinking that it was gonna be a little more dried out. I know. It's been sitting here for a while. But that's actually pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to market Indian food, not bad. Rice still lukewarm. I think could have added another 10 seconds to that. 15. Maybe 15. But <laughs> I really want to taste this curry though, compared to the place from earlier. Let's try this chicken curry. Uh, we had shrimp curry earlier. It's like chicken tikka masala. Let's try the curry. See how we think. I mean, they're both curry, but. I would say the meat's very tender. And it's not, maybe it's because it's been sitting all day. It's a different kind of meat than we had earlier. I will tell you, on the chicken tikka masala, it was these big chunks of like chicken breast. I feel like here, we're having more of the dark meat chicken mixed in. I'm a dark meat fan kind of guy. So I can't I can't complain on that at all. Pretty solid, I mean, it's a good quick filler meal. I don't know if I'd come here for like a full like dinner meal like we're having right now. I mean, I will say the one thing, compared to other nationalities of food, if this was the worst, it still would be better than their worst. Right. You know, because I've had like, some bad Mexican food in this. Exactly. This is oh, still. I'm a little sussed out right now. A little sus, but it's, but it's still, still good. pretty good. Like I can't. I'm not gonna like hate on it. Like it's actually. I just feel really sus. <laughs> Let me get another spoon. I need, I need some more grit. This is like a, a straight hole in the wall. Like keep in mind, guys, we're in about uh, Studio City right now. We were in Thousand Oaks for lunch, and we were in Canoga Park for breakfast. It's got some good flavor. Good spices down there. I will say we can talk about it after, which is the best. But mm -hmm. I already know. The one thing I do want to point out here is that I do have a lot of, a lot more choices when it comes to like food that you can actually see. Jay's gonna go with the beef kebab over here. I'm just really confused on this. It's a beef kebab, but it's like shredded beef in like a patty form, so. Mmm, I'm pretty good. I think it's really nice. Mmm, I'm gonna try some of the sauce. I don't know if it's for this, but I'm gonna do it. See, what I really like here, I love a good shredded meat that still has flavor mm. and juice inside of it. This has all the classic Indian spices. My mouth's actually starting to heat up right now and it's starting to feel on fire. Moving on over to the, the chicken uh, tabbouleh. It's a dark meat also. It looks like it's maybe a chicken uh, drumstick with a thigh. It's like Panda Express. If you go at the end of the night, it's going to be great. I guarantee it was good in the morning. I bet you this was 100 That's what he said. He ate it at 2 o'clock. Like, I ate it at like 2 o'clock. Not right now. That should have been our first telltale sign. It been 2 o'clock <laughs> yesterday, too. The one thing that separates this place from the last place we had is the bones. That place mm -hmm. didn't have any bones. This has bones. This has cartilage. So it's a little bit more get your fingers in there. Get a little messy, which I'm not can be fun at sometimes. But yeah, my hangers are dirty. I just pumped my gas tank I will, and I didn't even wash it. I will also say that the last restaurant we went to, it was like you order and they cook it. It was not cafeteria style, like the first right. one and this one. And this one. But we also went to the, the first one we went to was at opening time. Yeah. So it was like prime cook. This is end of the day. This is what they got left. But like I said, still not bad. Not bad at all. And I mean, now, last but not least, we, we got dessert. dessert. So I thought these were onion rings at first, but they're not. He said that they're like a, like a basically you eat them after the rice. So. Oh. Oh, sweet. oh my god. Yeah, flour, definitely sugar. It's like sugar inside. Mmm. This is fire. It's like a little cookie. Here, I'm thinking it was an onion ring. I'm gonna need to put a little sauce, because he just says you do dipping sauce. No! God, please, no! No! I like oh. this. Oh, I got some <laughs> I like this, though. This is nice. <laughs> Pretty good. Fresh, it would've been good. Fresh, if it was nice and warm, just came out the oven a little soft, uh -huh. that'd be fire. But it's like a cookie at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It's still good. Burn it a little hotter. Not bad, so let's get this rung up and let's see how much it's gonna cost us. Let's do it. How you know Indian culture is very close to Latin culture is when you get close down to the bottom of whatever it is you do, you just put a little water in there. Of course. To keep it going. Like this is straight. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna complain because I do this with my shampoo, so it is what it is. Oh, nice. A short putty. It's a short putty. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah, it's a short putty. A short putty. I like my short. Damn, lots of fish, man. The they got some big ones. Look how big this oh is. Oh my god, you guys. You should... Look at this one. Oh my god. Good lord. Oh my god. That's a big boy right there. Just got off the boat. We caught us a big one. Came out frozen, but we good. Okay. Cool. Can I get a scratcher too? Debit or credit? Uh, credit? Only cash. Oh, then why you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> you tricked me. Come on, debit. Let me pay with a debit. Just throw Only it on cash. there. Come on. How much is it? Do you have a $1 one? A $1 scratcher? 
come on, I'm trying to win big here so I can come back and spend it all here. Okay, you got it. Okay, give me one dollar. Okay, and then I pay for this. Okay. Thank you, friend. Dinner's been served. It was 30 bucks, but let's see if maybe we can win our money back with this scratcher. Let's scratch it off. The possibility to win a hundred dollars. If we do, then this whole video is worth it. Okay, let's see. How do we win though? It says, enter second. Okay, cross your 18 letters. This doesn't count as gambling on camera, right? Come on, give us something good. These are my letters, so now what do I do? You gotta scratch it off. If you uncover two or more complete words in the crossword puzzle, you win the prize indicated in the prize key. What, we got nothing in here, man. Is there anything we can spell? This is one of them, them you hard got scratches. You got N-A, you got N-A. Where the P though? There's no P, you got L and E. We got L, is there an I? No, no. I. Dang. I think we got the hardest scratch off, you guys. Yeah, I wanted some like one, two, three, four, That's prize. what I'm saying, like just match three and you win. All right, so not only did we spend 30 bucks here, we also lost a dollar with our scratcher, but I'm gonna keep it in my pocket just in case I played it wrong and I can scan it at another place. We had 24 hours of only eating Indian market food. Which of our four meals was your favorite? I think the lunch, the lunch spot with the original chicken tikka masala. I, I can't lie, I think that that one was so good because it was so fresh. It was mostly a restaurant though. Like if you really looked at it, they had like two shelves of stuff. Yeah, it was a grocery store, but at the end of the day, I feel like they focus more on their restaurant. I'm not gonna lie though, I did like that snack spot. They did have a lot oh, of good desserts. Shout out to Raul. Shout out to Raul for letting us go there. And that wraps it up. If you guys enjoyed this Indian market food special, hit the thumbs up. If you want us to hit another type of genre of food, markets, whatever, let us know in the comments down below. You want BTS, check out our Snapchat, at Brennan Taylor, add us up. And until next time, we'll see you guys when we see ya. Peace. Peace.